Former Palm Beach polo mogul John Goodman found guilty of DUI manslaughter in 2014 and sentenced to 16 years, took the stand in court today, trying once again to get out of prison. Goodman's attorneys arguing in a two day hearing his sentence should be vacated. Investigative reporter Terry Parker covered both of Goodman's criminal trials and was in court today with this latest development. After 10 years behind bars, John Goodman, the millionaire former owner of Palm Beach Polo, took the stand in his last ditch effort to get a new trial and get out of prison on his DUI manslaughter charges. The theory? His team of high powered, experienced lawyers didn't do a good job. Did you go along with the advice of your attorneys at all stages? Yes. Goodman was convicted of driving drunk, blowing through a stop sign on Lake Worth Road and slamming his Bentley into engineering student Scott Wilson's Hyundai back in 2010. Wilson's car plunged into a dark canal where he drowned. Goodman walked away and did not immediately call 911. Scott's parents, Lily Wilson and William Wilson, now divorced, listen silently as Goodman's attorneys try to convince the judge his previous lawyers had erred by not calling in an independent toxicologist to testify. If Elizabeth Parker or any of the other attorneys uh, had uh, requested to hire a toxicologist, what would you have said? Yes, hire a toxicologist. Goodman's former attorney Elizabeth Parker testified they brought in several experts and Goodman sat in on strategy meetings. Mr. Goodman reiterated there again that he was very happy with the testimony and the cross-examination of T. Goodman. That was Terry Parker reporting Goodman's hearing on whether he could get a new trial continues tomorrow at 10 a.m.